This is a video report analysis of Wilbro's group as part of Birkenrode Reports, a program of Tulane University A.B. Freeman School of Business. Analysts are Kyle Cranfill, Sarah Robertson, Billy Utt, and Min Zhang. Please note at the time of the recording of this video on November 25, 2014, our analyst team was still awaiting the release of updated financial information for the second quarter of 2014. Updated information is expected to include the reversal of $8 million in previously recognized pre-tax income and the recognition of $14 to $16 million in estimated pre-tax project losses, as discussed later in this video. This recording reflects the most recent informa information available at the time of recording. Wilbro's Group, Inc., ticker symbol WG on the New York Stock Exchange, is headquartered in Houston, Texas. Wilbros is an engineering and construction company that builds and maintains pipelines and infrastructure for the energy industry in the United States and Canada. At the time of this recording, Wilbros was trading at $4.71 with a market capitalization of 238 million and 50 million shares outstanding. Here is a look at the past five years of stock performance for Wilbros Group. Following the 2008 recession, the stock traded at a high of $18 in December 2010. Since that time, the stock has seen high levels of volatility as it fluctuates within the $3 to $12 range. We've given Wilbros a 12-month target price of $8 and an investment rating of market outperform based on a discounted cash flow to equity model and multiples method. For the discounted cash flow to equity valuation, we forecasted operating cash flows and projected net income and free cash flows to equity. We then discounted these cash flows at Wilbros cost of equity. We also used two industry multiples to value Wilbros, enterprise value to EBITDA and price to book value. Since 2011, Wilbros has seen continued revenue declines in the oil and gas segment as a result of ineffective project management. On October 21st, 2014, the company announced its plans to restate results for the second quarter of 2014 to include the reversal of approximately $8 million in previously recognized pre-tax income and the recognition of $14 to $16 million in project losses. The restatements were the result of poor execution and management of a significant pipeline construction project in the company's northeast regional business within the oil and gas segment. Upon announcement, Wilbro's stock fell from $7.63 to a yearly low of $4.90. In response to recent performance, Wilbro's also announced significant changes to its executive leadership. CEO and board director Robert Harrell resigned and has been replaced by chairman of the board John McNabb. The board of directors also promoted Michael Fournier to the position of president and chief operating officer. Mr. Fournier previously served as the president of the company's Canada segment. Revenue for the Canada segment nearly doubled between 2012 and 2013, and that performance has continued into 2014. Wilbros credits this segment's recent growth to Mr. Fournier's leadership and emphasis on project management. The company is hopeful that Mr. Fournier's success in implementing effective project management processes in Canada can be replicated throughout the U.S. regional offices of the oil and gas segment. The company also plans to sell off non-strategic business units in an effort to recoup losses and pay down debt. In spite of the disappointing performance of its oil and gas segment, Wilbros continues to remain focused on its overall objectives for 2014. These include a focus on newer business segments as a source of growth and diversification, the continued performance of the company's successful Canada segment, and the repayment of long-term debt. Long -term debt. Between 2010 and 2012, Wilbros began a directional pivot to diversify their core oil and gas offerings and further develop their utility transmission and distribution and professional services business segments that provide greater revenue stability for the company. Wilbros recently secured maintenance service agreements from Duke Energy and has expanded from Texas into southeast states, including Florida and Georgia. These developments are expected to produce continued growth for the segment. Professional services was created as a standalone business segment by Wilbros in 2012. The segment specializes in GIS services, utility line locating, leak detection, permitting, and other services. In addition, Wilbros has established an exclusive partnership with Google to leverage the Google Maps technology to provide highly accurate pipeline mapping. 
Despite a tepid initial growth period, the segment has seen a 14.8% growth in 2014 compared to 4.6% growth in the prior two years. This has coincided with only an 11.3% increase in segment expenses since 2012. Wilbro's Canada segment provides construction, maintenance, and fabrication services in the oil sands mine sites in northern Alberta. As previously mentioned, Canada is Wilbro's fastest growing segment, with revenue nearly doubling from $216 million in 2012 to $445 million in 2013, with a concurrent 6.1% increase in profit margin. The segment is on track to exceed $500 million in revenue in 2015. As previously mentioned, Wilbro's hopes to recreate Canada's successful project management processes in its U.S. regional offices in an effort to improve the performance of the oil and gas segment. The company believes growth in its professional services, utility transmission and distribution, and Canada segments will provide greater revenue stability into the future. As part of the company's directional pivot, Wilbro's completed its full divestiture of international operations outside of Canada in 2013. Using the proceeds of recent and continued asset sales, the company has plans to pay down $55 million in long-term debt. In total, these, rep these repayments represent approximately a quarter of the company's total long-term debt. Moving forward, the company hopes to reach and maintain a target debt-to-equity ratio of 1 to 1. The Altman Z-score is a measure of overall company risk. Since 2011, the company's efforts to grow assets while reducing liabilities have increased its score from a level of imminent distress to a relatively safe level of risk. Even as the company continues its diversification efforts, oil prices remain the primary leading indicator for Wilbro's revenue streams in the near term. In November 2014, global oil prices dropped below $75 for the first time in over three years. The impact of a drop in oil prices is not immediately felt by Wilbro's. However, should oil prices remain depressed through the end of 2014, Wilbro's ability to meet current revenue benchmarks may be affected in the second half of 2015. To summarize, we've given Wilbro's a 12-month target price of $8 based on a discounted cash flow to equity model and industry multiples. In spite of recent declines in stock price, efforts to restructure the company will likely result in revenue gains and diminish risk moving forward. Thank you for your time and attention. The Birkin Road reports are produced solely as a part of an educational program of Tulane University's A.B. Freeman School of Business. The reports are not investment advice. Investors should not regard the presentation as recommendation to buy or sell any securities mentioned. Investors should consult an investment professional and or conduct your own primary analysis before making any investment decision.